Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bull. The Minnesota Vikings made some moves, but, and I'm going to say that but for the end of the video, but we did make some moves, but I just want to say this. To my Viking family, I truly appreciate y'all vibing with me. And what I mean by that is when y'all hit the like button and comment on all my videos, I truly appreciate that, man. Like, this is, this is, like, so fun to me. This is not, like, this is serious to me, but this is not, like, serious, if you know what I mean. This is all fun, and this is all for y'all to make y'all laugh and just, it, it's just fun. And I like talking to y'all. I like talking that talk with y'all about our favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings. You know what I mean? Being from the Pen being from Pennsylvania and being Philly everything besides football and then talking to Minnesota Viking fans, not even just Minnesota Viking fans from Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings from everywhere around the country. It's, it's really, really cool. It's really, it's fantastic to me. Like, it's, it's fun. So thank you for vibing with the Bull. And um, let me get to the video. So we made some moves. David... Quinson Berry. David Quinson Berry, I think that's how you say his name, is an offensive tackle. He can play left tackle and right tackle. He's not going to be a starter. He's not going to take none of our, the two Pro Bowl starters that we have and Brian O'Neill and Darryl, So It's not going to happen. This is just if they get hurt, hope to goodness they don't get hurt. He's about average, 6'5", 310 pounds. Yeah, he, he, he's solid, but we just hope the best that our offensive line can stay healthy. Y'all know what I really want to say about our offensive line. And I'll get that. At, I'll get to that at the end of the video. We also signed Miles Gaskin. Miles Gaskin is a solid running back. I was watching his highlights and he can do like everything. You know what I mean? He's not like, like a pro bowl caliber running back, but he can definitely challenge Ty Chandler for that second string running back position. Even though I don't think I hope that he doesn't. I hope Ty Chandler gets a, a proper opportunity this year because he proved himself in the preseason. And it seems like every preseason he proves himself, he doesn't get the proper opportunity. So I want to see Ty Chandler before anything. But just in case, like, one of the running backs get hurt, like Madison or Ty Chandler, he can definitely hop in. You know what I mean? He's solid. He can catch. He got hands. He definitely got hands. For His best season was 2020. 142 carries for 584 yards, 4.1 per carry, three touchdowns. Also, for 2020 season, he had 41 catches for 388 yards, which is solid. And per catch is 9.5, and he also had two touchdowns. So he's a solid, like, running back three, running back two. And um, hopefully, this is just... Building our team up, man. These these two moves with Miles Gaskin and David, it, that that's just making sure if anything does happen with injury, we gotta we got a plan B. Hopefully, we don't have to get to plan B. Miles Gaskin is really good. I mean, not really good, but he's solid. So, if if Madison got hurt, you put Ty Chandler as the one, put him number two. You know what I mean? But um, this is that two good solid moves. The move that kind of surprised me was Jalen Rager being released. <laughs> it's like, no. But, like, real talk, though. Like, I thought Jalen Rager proved himself in the first preseason game. And for him to just be let go is just like, dang. And you know what's crazy? Being from Pennsylvania, I made a video about Jalen Rager. I'm, like, thinking to myself, maybe Jalen Rager could be, like, the secret weapon. He can um, return punts. He can catch the ball occasionally but um I was just thinking to myself maybe he just didn't get the proper opportunity with the Eagles and maybe he can change his career turn his career around in Minnesota but a lot of Philadelphia Eagle fans will be hitting me up <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter and just everywhere saying he's a scrub don't trust him it's just preseason but um I would have liked to see him in regular season games this season a second year under Kevin O'Connell in this offense, I would have liked to see it, but, you know, he got released. And the result of him being released, we have to give up a fifth-round pick instead of a fourth-round pick because he didn't meet the specific performance benchmarks, which is 40 receptions, 500, 500 receiving yards, 
or five touchdowns. He didn't do it. So obviously. So he only caught eight passes for 104 yards and one touchdown in 2022. So it's nowhere close to where he was supposed to get the benchmarks for us to give Philly a fourth round pick. But yeah, I mean, this is all that happened really that I was just like, all right, this is something I want to talk about. But I actually enjoy this time of year right before the first week against the Bucks. It's definitely exciting. It's definitely exciting. I, I am optimistic about this year. A lot of people, they leave in the comments and they're like, man, you're, like, why do you think they're going to win? I'm going to say this because I'm going to say they're going to win every single year because I'm a Minnesota Viking fan. And we still have a solid quarterback. You can say what you want about Kirk Cousins, but he's solid. We had the best wide receiver in the game. We have a, a, a different culture on the defensive side of the ball. So I'm just optimistic as a whole that the Minnesota Vikings could do some damage in the playoffs because I believe we will get to the playoffs this season. And um, let me know when it comes what you think about everything I just talked about. And let me just say the but, right? The but for me is we made some moves, solid moves. I do like, I do like Miles, Gaskin, and David, but we need a guard. Like, we need to figure out some way somehow to get Dalton Reisner in or just figure out something to get a, a guard from another team. If we have to give up a third-round pick or a fourth-round pick to get somebody, I – do what you have to do. If we're really trying to contend this season, we have to get this offensive line better than what it is right now. Because unfortunately, for me, and I'm not trying to be negative, I'm just being honest and I'm being real. I got to keep it real. I don't believe in Ed Ingram. I do not believe in Ezra Cleveland. I believe in Ezra Cleveland a tiny bit. But Ed Ingram, I just, sorry, I don't see it. But I hope he proves me wrong. And we'll see what happens. That's the position we need more than anything right now. We don't need any other position but guard, 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 guard. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.